Hey Free Spirits and welcome to day six. So day six is going to be similar to day four in where we try to complete as many exercises as we can in eight minutes. So let's go ahead and get right to it. So sitting in our cross-legged position, let's sit up nice and tall, drop those hands out to the side, take a nice deep inhale, bring those arms up over the head and then exhale release the hands down. Inhale, taking this time to center yourself and be in the here and now for this workout and this workout only. And nice deep inhale and exhale. Drop those hands down. All right, let's open those eyes and get started. I'm gonna start my timer. So we're going to take the hands behind the back and facing the fingertips towards the feet, we're going to raise up into a tabletop position or reverse tabletop position. So if you want to stay here, maybe you're here. That's okay. Our goal is to try to get nice and flat, stay lifted out of the shoulders. Let's add a little bit of extra something here. Drop the butt down and then come back up. Drop it down and back up. Down and up. Try this if you can and see if you're able to do it. If you're not, just work on that reverse plank. And let's go for three more and then we're gonna hit jumping jacks next. Two and one. Drop the bottom down and let's come on up to a standing and let's go straight in to our jumping jacks. This workout is going to move pretty fast like all of the other ones. If you want the PDF, just click on the link so you can do it on your own. But I would love to have you here. Let's go three, two, and one. And back down to the mat. We're going to come into a forearm plank. So line up on those forearms, shoulder to elbow, and prop yourself on up. We're going to hold it here for about roughly 30 seconds. Remember, you can always drop down to the knees and hold it in that position if you'd like. Just really feel the core activated here and just enjoy it and breathe. Do not forget to breathe in this one. Let's hold it just a little bit longer. That heart rate's probably maybe increased a little bit. Hopefully you warmed up. Did your warm up? And drop down to the knees, untuck the toes, and we're going to set on our bottoms. So bring the knees into the chest, and you're going to raise the feet up, push the legs out, and pull them back in, out and in. I love this exercise. This is one of my favorites. If you struggle with this one, just do what you can until you start to build up that core strength and also in the hips and the glutes. And let's do two more, and then we'll move into a bridge. And back in, lay those feet down, lay back down to the mat, take the hands out wide, take a nice deep inhale, exhale, lift your bottom up, hold it, and back down. And back up, squeeze those glutes, and bring it back down, up, and down. Now this one has been a recurring exercise. I make the majority of my clients do this and there's also ways that you can progress this exercise. So if this isn't enough for you, feel free to shoot me a message and I can give you some alternates to this to make it a little bit more difficult if you would like. Let's go for three more two, last one, up and down. Pull the knees into the chest, raise the head and the chest up. Let's extend the legs out long and take the hands back and we're gonna hold it here. Make sure the belly stays nice and flat. The lower your feet go to the ground, the more challenging. Make sure that back isn't arching. So if you feel your back arching, bring the legs up a little bit and check in with the low back again. If this is just way too much, you can take the hands down and then you can even bend the knees. But let's try to do this one right here 
and let's hold it for a few more seconds and pull the knees in, lower the head and let's come on into a high plank here for some mountain climbers. So line up that shoulder to wrist and let's pull the knee in to the elbow. And you can go as fast or as slow as you'd like. You can slow it down for a modifier or really get after it by pulling those knees in nice and quick, quick, quick. Let's go a few more and stop. Drop down to the knees, untuck the toes, and let's come on up for some lunges. So let's start with that left foot forward, right leg is back. Take those hands on the hips and drop down and back up. We wanna drop that knee so the hip and the knee are in a nice straight line. And then your front leg, your knee is gonna be going just over your ankles. Press into that foot as you come up. And let's go a few more here. Very good. And let's switch to the other side. So the right foot is forward, left leg is back. Place those hands on the hips and drop it down and bring it back up. Now this, same thing here. Now I want to go over the upper body with you on this one. I'm going to hold on so I can concentrate. You want to take your shoulders and stack them just slightly over your hips. What that's going to do is that's going to help alleviate any low back pressure that you may be feeling. Let's do a few more here. And if you haven't noticed from my videos, um, my right side's a little wobblier than my left. <laughs> and let's do one more down and up. Take that foot back and let's bring it on down to the mat. We're gonna drop down to the knees, bring the hands out a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. And let's do some push-ups here. So we're gonna inhale as we lower, exhale as we come back up. Inhale, exhale up. Keep that body nice and straight. Engage that core. Squeeze the butt a little bit. Tuck those elbows in just slightly to alleviate any pressure that you may be feeling on the shoulders. If this is too much, you can always head over to the wall and do some wall push-ups. Let's do a few more here. One more, keep with me. Very good, we're back to the beginning. So I'm gonna flip over into a reverse plank. We are at about a minute out. Bring it up, drop the butt down, and raise up. Down and up, down and up. So even though we're moving pretty quickly, we don't want to sacrifice our form. So if you have to slow it down, if I'm moving too fast, you just take your own pace and just do what you can until you really feel good about keeping up. Let's do two more, and one, and down. And let's come on up for jumping jacks. This will be our last one. And out, just to finish it up, really get that heart rate up and going. Keep with me here. Let's do a few more. And stop. All righty. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. That is round one. You can restart the video if you'd like one to two more times and then come on back to me. and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your one round, two rounds, or three rounds. Hopefully you're all cooled down and ready to finish off our workout with our three breaths. So sitting cross-legged, sitting up nice and tall. Let's drop those arms out to the side. Close those eyes. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, drop the hands down. And inhale up. Exhale down. And on this inhale, I just want you to tell yourself thank you so much for taking time out of your day to just be in the here and now, 
doing something for yourself and put a smile on that face. All right, so I would love to hear how many exercises you got through in this eight minutes. If you need the PDF, just go ahead and click the, click the link below. If you enjoyed this workout, let me know. All right, peace out, free spirits. I'll see you next time.